to focus on sooner than later. If you have a large calendar that has ample space to write down appointments and birthdays, places you're going, that's a big help too. Clean out your refrigerator so food that's past the use by date doesn't smell up the inside. And it's a good idea to just wash the shelves as well. You don't want mold or bacterial growth to have a place to start. You can donate your unused clothing or clothing that you just don't wear anymore to groups who can distribute the items to people who need them. So you want to keep what's left in your closet on rods and hangers that are easy to reach. You can organize your clothes by color or by season. Paring down is a great way to see what you really have and what you really need. You don't need business suits if you aren't working anymore, do you? Now let's just review the benefits of minimalism. You don't think of your physical possessions being linked to mental and emotional health, but studies show that when we clean out the closet or clean up the kitchen, it has a massive impact on your mental clarity and your peace of mind. When was the last time you took the time to go through your storage shed or your extra bedroom and sort through all the things you forgot were hiding in there? Well, I bet you when you did it, you felt really good because you had a sense of accomplishment. It feels it really, it's a relief to know that it's done and you know what's what and where is where. You'll be in better health. I mean, getting rid of a few physical possessions might change your health, but what about clearing the things from your schedule that are unnecessary or not needed? Some of us are overcommitted in our lives, and if you really begin to ask yourself why you haven't scaled back, well, you don't want to disappoint somebody, so I really need to go, and that's not a good reason to overload your schedule. What would it look like to cut back on what you do every day? Would you like to just rest more, take better care of yourself, travel places? Minimalism can take many forms, and uh, if you're clearing things from your closet or your calendar or your kitchen or your commitments, you're going to feel better. You have more freedom. If you really spend time thinking about it, how many physical possessions do you own? Do you work hard to own what you don't even want just to impress someone in your family? Well, Dave Ramsey, the financial advisor and New York Times bestselling author, says we, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. And that's a, a good adage to uh, listen to. So just think about the freedom you'll have if you can let go of the pressure of having to accommodate other people and just do what you want to do. There's more freedom to travel. You can take a day off. You can work for yourself instead of somebody else or doing work that you really like or starting a new business. So there's also less stress if you tone down what you have and what you do. You don't have to come home to a cluttered house. You don't have to wake up early in the morning to do something you don't really want to do in the first place. And you didn't have to show up at the office every day for a job that made you feel like, eh, I don't want to do this. It's less stress. And by doing this, you have more time. And in a world where opportunities are coming at us faster than the speed of light, it is hard to say no. But you might miss out. Oh, my goodness. What if we say no? We'll miss an opportunity to be part of something really great. Well. What if you're missing a part of something that you want to do because you're doing what somebody else wants you to do? Just so clear your calendar and work during the day if you want to, but don't make any commitments for the evening. And with that extra time, you prepare dinners with the people that you love or you go for a walk or you read a book. There's always some opportunity. And you'll gain self-confidence. You may think you need to have the latest and greatest clothing or brand new whatever or this year's model of a car to feel good about yourself. But think how good it will feel to feel about uh, without those things. The benefit of living with less, you feel good about yourself, not because of what you own, just 
It's because who you are, really. You have greater purpose. When you clear out the unnecessary activities and items from your life, you have a clearer sense of purpose. You feel motivated to do what you set out to do because your direction is clear and you're not confused about it. You have few commitments and you can take those commitments seriously. And you may have extra money. Buying less and doing less means you have extra cash on hand. And if you're on a limited budget, that can make a big difference. You don't have to go to that birthday party and you don't have to have a meal out. You're, you're not going to make impulse purchases. When you find something you really do want, you have the money to buy it. You may also find that you have better relationships. You don't have to compete with your friends and your family to have the nicest car or the biggest house. You can stop trying to impress people and just begin to talk to them as a real person. You don't have to be a people pleaser. And the, one of the nicest things, though, is you have lifetime memories. Instead of having to buy gifts for people, um, a lot of people I know uh, go on fun family vacations while they're still able to. And your, your grandchildren and your children won't remember what you gave them for Christmas uh, four or five years ago, maybe. But they'll remember the vacation and they will have fun memories of that time. You'll have enough great memories of your own to keep you smiling for a long time. You can take photos while you're on the trip, and you'll have those photos to look at to remember. That's the stuff that you want to be having in your life at this point. So you want to really create, at the very least, you want to declutter uh, you may not have to downsize necessarily, but get rid of the clutter because you're going to trip and fall. Something will happen and it just isn't a good idea. So I want to thank you for joining me today on this podcast. And I hope I've given you some things to think about. If you want to reach me, you can email me at move or improve with Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to chat with you through email on things you might want to do to help make your life simpler. Thanks for joining me.